Okay, uh, brothers, uh, boys and girls, um, welcome again to um, our next uh, our tuition topic. Uh, today we're going to be looking at decimals, uh, and it's part of a series of topics on decimals. And again, we'll be looking at the going through the book Lef 11 Plus Maths Guide, which you can get from our website uh, or buy from our website, livechangetuition.com, or you can uh, buy it directly from Amazon. Um, so let's uh, make a start. Okay, so we go onto our whiteboard here, and and today we'll be starting off with what is a decimal. Um, so I'll just zoom in there. So here, it, this book describes a decimal separates a whole number from a part number, from part of a whole number. So it separates numbers from part whole numbers. And what does the separation is a decimal point. So if you look at a typical example, uh, let's say four, five, three, two, three. So you have here the units column, tens column, the hundreds column, and the thousands column. What separates them is a decimal point. So I'll put that nice and big there. And then if I do three, four, six, and you'll have a tenth column, a hundredth column, and a thousandth column. Okay. And what will happen uh, is, let's change the colour again. Okay. This side, uh, actually, it will make it consistent of the book. Here, the numbers are getting 10 times as bigger. So how many units are there in a 10? 10. How many 10s are in a 100? 10. How many 100s in a 1,000? 10. So each time, it's going times 10, times 10, times 10. Okay? And similarly, how many tenths are there in a unit? There are 10. How many hundredths in a tenth? There are 10. How many thousandths in a tenth? There are. How many thousands in a hundredth? There are 10. Okay? And in, the, in a similar way, working backwards, I'll change the colors again. Here, they're getting smaller. And so they're. 10 times smaller, 10 times smaller, okay, 10 times smaller. And this decimal point is what separates the whole numbers from the part whole numbers. Right, um, so the next bit we're going to be doing is how to add decimals. And here it just gives us two steps. First step to line the decimal point and second step to fill any gaps of zeros. And then you add and subtract as normal. So we'll do this as an example. Uh, 1.27 plus 1.27 plus 1.27 plus 1.27 take away 0.3. So notice how we have lined up the decimal point here. Okay, we've lined up the decimal point. So just so notice that decimal point is lined up. And then so we've lined up the decimal point. So that's the first step. So I have to put a tick there. And the second step is to fill any gaps with zero. So we've got a gap down here. So I'll fill that with zero. And if we're going to be taken away, seven take away zero. Seven take away zero is seven. Two take away three we can't do, so we have to borrow. So I put a zero there. So it becomes 12 take away three, which is nine. Don't forget the decimal point. So I've put a decimal point here. So the decimal point goes here. And then zero take away zero is zero, which gives us 0.97. Okay. Okay, and that's it. So just remember the two steps: line up the decimal point and fill any gaps with zeros. And we'll go concentrate on the next topic on decimals in the next video. See you later. Bye.